President Gil Carberry, Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, proud parents and family, and of course, the stars of today, the graduating class of 2012. The first thing I would like to say is thank you, not only for giving me this great opportunity, but the days of fear and nausea I've endured, I thought of writing this speech had been a great way to prepare me for similar things I'll be doing in the future. So, you know, I believe this is a win-win situation. I am truly delighted to be here this evening and to be part of this ceremony. And as I stand here right now, I can't be any happier. This is such a moment for me. The graduating class of 2012, we did it! Yes, we did it! I know some of you, just like myself, have longed to see this day. And even as we realize, we have to know that we have been given an opportunity to make a difference in the world in our own little way. Even as we celebrate this evening, we don't have to forget how we, how we got here. We are not here today because we did it on our own. We have to acknowledge the fact that God has been gracious. Our family and friends have been very supportive. And the administration and the faculty of QCC have done a really good job. So to the administration, to the faculty and the staff of QCC, the class of 2012 want to say thank you so much for every single thing you did for us. We know that we can't pay for that. But the only thing we will say is that God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you. When I came from Ghana two years ago, some few months after high school, the paramount in my mind was my education. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. And even now, or not. So with the help and the support of my parents, I started here at QCC. I can clearly remember my very first day here. I stood at a Ford parking lot, and I looked down the hill. As I looked down, I saw all the buildings over there, and I saw a lot of students, come, some coming to class, and some coming into their cars. And I told myself that I was going to do this. Honestly, I didn't know how I was going to do this, but there was something I had, and that is my passion to excel, that I believe has made a lot of difference in my life right now. And I know that even as I transferred to Cornell University, the same thing is going to help me through to come out successfully. We have changed so much since we started here at QCC, and yet we have so much further to go. But there's one thing I want us to remember, and that is we have been given what it takes to carry us through the next phase of our lives. I am not standing here telling you that everything is going to be easy, no. But what I'm saying is that when we encounter the difficulties and the problems, we have to know that we have been given what it takes to handle them. The story of our president, Gil Carberry, has always been an encouragement for me because she started from a community college. And look how she is right now. It tells me that everything is possible. It tells me that if you put your mind to it, you can do it. It tells me that we don't have to be down by the words of people. I believe every talent can be tapped and every dream has a potential. So as we graduate from QCC, we don't have to be satisfied with this achievement. There is one thing I know about the body of work, and that is it is never finished. It is cumulative each time we give our very best. So to conclude, I want to leave you with these words. As we go out there to the four-year colleges and even to the workforce, we have to know that there will be challenges, and that it is imperative. And sometimes there might even be be failures, and that also is part of life. But there's something that I want us to remember, and that is, it is a failure to become our perceived ideal that ultimately defines us and makes us unique. Again, it is not easy. But if we accept our misfortunes and handle them right, our perceived failure can become a catalyst for a profound reinvention. Thank you. <laughs>